Okay, everybody, now that we have the scoreboard challenge solved, we're going to move on and we're going to pick a different challenge to solve. Um, some of these are kind of built on one on top of each other, so they don't necessarily need to be done in order. Uh, but what I will say is we're going to start with the DOM-based cross-site scripting attack. So the DOM-based is something called the document object model, okay? And it's basically how the web page is set up and displayed to you. Um, XSS, and from our previous lessons, uh, should be known as cross-site scripting. Cross-site scripting typically comes in one of three forms. Uh, reflected, stored, and DOM-based cross-site scripting. So uh, what could happen is, is that somebody using user input is able to affect uh, the document object model. Okay, so let's take a look at an example of this. First, I'm going to hit um, the search bar, and I know, I happen to know for a fact, uh, that the search bar is vulnerable to uh, this type of an attack. Um, but also, really, any any type where there's a field that accepts user input is prone to attack if not properly secured. So let's see what happens when I put in some simple HTML code. code. And I'm just going to use this name, no particular reason why. Uh, just have it on the top of my head. And here we go. And I'm going to close out that H1 tag. And now I'm going to hit enter. Okay. So, no results found, which is true. However, it says search results, Casey rocks. And notice that my H1 tag is here, but it's not here. Okay. So, let's right click here and do an inspect. And from here, what we can see is, oh, wait a minute now, it did actually input this H1 element. This H1 element, for those of you that may or may not know, uh, is basically a header tag in HTML. So th what this is hinting to me is that it is in taking my code that I'm injecting in and allowing it to be displayed on the web page, right? And that is very bad. So in all web applications, you should never trust user input. Just a general good rule of thumb. Now, let's see if we can actually get the points for a cross-site scripting attack that's going to trigger a JavaScript alert. I'm going to close out this search. Now I'm going to go to the scoreboard. And I'm going to go down to where it says this DOM XSS. Okay. If you're following along with the document I provided, um, it's going to tell you not to copy and paste from the document. That is fine. You don't. You shouldn't copy and paste from the document you should be able to copy from here. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and scroll up, hit the search, right click and paste this text in. And now I'm going to just validate that it looks okay. iframe source, JavaScript. So an iframe is basically, hey, load another page within this page. Okay, if you want to know more about the different tags, you know, search up iframe, but iframe is usually meant to feed content in uh, from other pages or other scripts. Here we go. Got to hit the enter, and if all goes well, I should get a pop-up box. I would hope the pop-up box is being generated by JavaScript, and it's called an alert, and boom. There we go. So now I have Juicy Jesse Heroku app XSS. So it's displaying to me the alert in a pop-up field. And we could also see that you successfully solved a challenge DOM XS, perform a DOM XS attack. And to validate our results, I'm going to go back to the scoreboard. And I should get a 2 now. And if we scroll down, we see that the DOM based XSS attack was successful. Um, and I could also click here uh, to learn a little bit more about mitigation. And I can also click here to look at the coding, the different code that generated this. Uh, that's kind of the outside of the scope of this class, but I encourage you to uh, click in and look at the different information here.